Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Rio. Today, I'm with E to talk about continuous integration and continuous deployment, CICD for short, on cloud. Developers can choose between various self-hosted NSS tools available for CICD. Those who work on AWS must live through those options to determine which works for them. And their choice often come down to an open source option such as Jenkinson or Amazon's Manager Cloud Service. In videos, we will focus on AWS Code Pipeline versus Jenkins. We will let E compare their usability and cost and explore whether developer can use uh, the tools together. And E, here you go. Hello, everyone. Let's start it with Jenkins. Jenkins is one of the most popular open source CICD tools. And it can integrate with all public cloud providers and many applications that support developer work, such as GitHub. Jenkins core powers are its ex extensibility and price. Jenkins doesn't have any license fees and comes completely free of charge. The downside is that it's not available as a SaaS which means you need to deploy and maintain it. As well as all the plugins you use, this can be heavy work in large environments with hundreds of developers. So what is AWS Code Pipeline? AWS, AWS Code Pipeline is a managed CI-CD tool that provides integrated Amazon Cloud, Cloud DevOps tooling. Code Pipeline is actually a suite of services. It combines code build, code deploy, and the Git-based source code repository. Its name is Code Commit. Even though Code Pipeline is an AWS tool, it doesn't limit you to Amazon's cloud. You can use Code Deploy for on-premises deployments by running agents on your private service. If you are already running a CI tool instead inside your AWS environment, or have, you, have your code stored in GitHub, you can also integrate such tools into code pipeline and only use what you need. For example, you could use code deploy to publish code onto your EC2 instances or Amazon Elastic Container Service containers. Now that we have explained a bit about the Jenkins and the AWS Code Pipeline, we will compare the two. The first part is cost. Jenkins is free, but you still need to pay for at least one EC2 instance to run Jenkins in agent. And we can use AWS EC2 reserved instance, instance to lower budget. AWS Code Pipeline costs only $1 per active pipeline per month. And developers need to pay for code build compute time as well. Basically, the cost in both scenarios are low. Jenkins and the AWS Code Pipeline are both easy to use and set up because Code Pipeline 
is a SaaS application and already integrates with most Amazon Cloud services. It's likely easier for developers who already know their way around AWS. Integration is where Jenkins defeats code pipeline. With thousands of plugins, code pipeline works, works with many native AWS offerings, but it has a relatively small number of certified third-party integrations. If you are familiar with AWS ecosystem and your developers can do their entire work relying on AWS developer tools, then maybe you don't need extra integrations. The last part in this video, we are going to compare their performance in serverless application deployment. We can use CloudFormation template to build a code pipeline, and we can also use AWS IAM role as credential. It's secure and convenient. Besides, AWS command line and AWS SAM are natively supported in code pipeline. We do not need to make extra configuration. If we want to build CI/CD pipeline for service applications using Jenkins, we should use Jenkins file to configure software installation, environment variables, deployment command line, and, and AWS credentials. We upload the Jenkins file to Jenkins master server and schedule CI CD stages like test, build, and deployment in work servers. Therefore, we need to create an IAM instance profile for Jenkins slave instances to run AWS command line and update the serverless applications like API Gateway. As a conclusion, both Code Pipeline and Jenkins can be used in CI-CD process for service application. But Code Pipeline excels Jenkins for AWS integrations, security, and the convenience in AWS ecosystem. All right, everybody. Um, thanks for listening. The session is very uh, informative. And if you're looking for hands-on uh, exercise on STEM serverless architecture um, or other hands-on session, look for ascending channel on the YouTube. We'll discuss how to deploy a serverless and a containerization application through Amazon Code Pipeline. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.